Hi everybody, welcome back. This is going to be as fast of an update as I could possibly manage because my videos tend to be a little bit long. But, like the title said up there, we're going to be talking about what it's like to be one year on testosterone. And also, I have a very important announcement to make to all of you. So, with that being said, it has been a year. It's actually been a year and a month. Um, my T anniversary is in September, but I was quite busy. And now that things are starting to settle down, I figured I would make a video about this. So, I definitely had a lot of thoughts and expectations when I started T about where I would be in one year and what I thought I would be doing by one year. Um, I definitely expected myself to have a gym membership and be going to the gym fairly frequently, but that did not turn out as I expected, unfortunately. I still don't really like gyms and it's probably going to take a little bit more work with myself before I get into one, but it's something I would like to do. So I'm definitely not as toned or as muscular as I hoped, but I have noticed that I, I do feel a little bit stronger, um, and I guess like my strength capacity has increased a little bit, like it will increase, but definitely working out will help you see more of, you know, more of a difference. Um, and I also assumed, expected one of those, um, I started to have facial hair. And as you can see, I look like I'm 12 years old still, because this isn't happening. I also shave daily, every other day, because I just get some, like, scragglers coming in, and it's just like, it doesn't look good, so I just, I shave. You know, I haven't been able to grow out like a beard or a mustache or anything substantial. So I'm just still sporting the clean cut look for now. Hopefully that changes in a few years, but as of one year, I do not have facial hair of any significant proportion. Expected the misgendering to die down a lot. Um, I know that comes with presentation, it also comes with confidence levels, it also comes with, you know, addressing people um, when it happens. I'm still fairly shy when addressing strangers, especially at my job, just because we have like a steady flow of customers that come in and we don't have regulars in a sense. Like we have some people that I see, you know, daily or weekly, but I don't interact with them enough that it would be significant. And the people who do usually misgender me, I don't see again. So it's sort of more you know, do I want to deal with this? Do I want to make a point for somebody I'm never going to see again? And I usually go with no. Um, so that, that usually, you know, it makes me uncomfortable still. I'm not happy with it, but unfortunately I work in a place where people will see me every day. So, you know, it is what it is. I'm dealing with it the best I can. I hope that in the future it gets better and I also know that I have to put forth more of an assertive effort into correcting people um, just because my current job doesn't really allow me to like wear like pins or anything because I would wear like a pronouns pin or like a pronoun name tag but I kind of can't do that right now but that could possibly help I might talk to my supervisor about it who knows I still can't believe it's been a year I can't believe that last year this time I was starting tea and being like, wow, this is, I just, I, it's amazing to think that it's been a year. It's amazing to think that I've come this far. You hope for something for so long and then to see it finally play out, it's just, it's kind of unbelievable. It changes a lot because, you know, there's definitely times when you're working towards something and it feels like you're making no progress and it feels like you're going backwards and it feels like you're just running around in circles and nothing's happening. To finally see the progress that you've put in. It's really, it's really great. It's the best feeling in the world. And I'm so happy that I can record a video saying I've been one year on hormones. So yeah, that concludes my one year tea update. But now for the biggest announcement and like the best announcement arguably. So I got a call from my surgeon's office this week and I have a date set for top surgery, so that's happening.
happening. I'm... Oh my god, I am so fucking excited. I haven't cried about it yet, because when I got the call I was at work, so I'm like, okay, must maintain a professional image. But I was like, screaming on the inside. This is finally gonna happen. It's been such a long time in the making, I've been wanting top surgery since I can, you know, remember. So yeah, that is where I am at right now. I plan to make more videos uh, regarding surgery, surgery sort of like timeline, how things work, you know, what you can expect when you're planning for top surgery. And I'll definitely be making a lot of post-op vids um, just to show you guys what the recovery process is like. Um, and also, you know, I'm gonna be doped up on meds, so I'm probably gonna be saying the best shit ever. And that needs to be recorded. I will be starting a GoFundMe to help pay for my, just basically help pay bills and whatnot while I take time off during my recovery. That will be launched at uh, the beginning of November, and if anybody feels inclined to help me with that, that'd be fantastic, but obviously no obligation to anybody. Thank you guys so much for watching this. If you go to my page, you can find more trans videos, and if you also go to my page, you can find more other videos of things that I do. If you have a suggestion, drop it in the comment box, and just leave me a nice note, you know? Like, I hope you have a great day, and I will see you guys the next time I do this thing. So, see ya. Wink.